I mean, come on, how are we supposed to clean this? Look at that, how hectic. So we're down in Grandport and uh, it's probably one of the one of the heaviest affected places that uh, this oil spill has hit and um, yeah as you guys can see here let me just turn my camera around buckets and buckets full of thick oil like this like it doesn't get thicker than that pure oil here So I'm on the Mayberg waterfront today and the efforts to clean up the place have already started from early this morning and there's much less oil on the water here though uh, on the coast there is uh, some oil deposits I'm going to show you right now. unimaginable the foul smell the toxic smell that comes out from this oil and the high density of the oil makes it very difficult to handle these mangroves now have been um, completely contaminated right now is uh, we have a ship called the wakasho which has wrecked in the southeast of mauritius uh, that was uh, 15 days or so ago and uh, it uh, started leaking oil uh, after 12 days and uh, and 400 tons of oil has, has leaked into the sea causing a major environmental disaster. It was a ship uh, coming from Asia and was meant it was bound for Brazil. Uh, it should have been way off the coast of Mauritius. Thanks to literally everyone from every single part of the island has just come together to try clean up this mess. Um, we're not sure actually what's going to happen to those oil drums. Um, they're going to probably, apparently the storage for oil is completely full at the moment in Mauritius. So they're trying to figure out new plans. But um, at the moment, at least we get it off the beach. People are mad furious about this, that it's happened. Mad furious. And I think we need a proper commission of inquiry to look into this and to, to so that all the light is, is comes out of this of this matter. And reparations. I think it's very, very important that the insurers pay for the environmental damage and for the material damage and the cost to livelihoods, because there are thousands and thousands of people, fishermen um, and people who work in tourism that are badly affected by this, uh, by this uh, wreck, especially after we've had COVID in Mauritius, which has uh, already affected livelihood greatly. So it is a tragic incident, and it, it is something that we have never experienced before, and it is something that has now uh, critically affected both our tourism economy and our food security, and it is very, very, very critical and important that we get rid of this oil or else we will face a lot of troubles.